Hi, I'm Rico, and this is 1232. Now, one of the things that I really enjoy doing is just looking for bargains, tech bargains in the local free ads or on eBay. And uh, occasionally I come up with some uh, real good bargains and occasionally not so much. Um, but uh, I've got a couple of things to show you, uh, one of which I'm going to use to do the budget game and build. So let's have a look. So this PC I got free of charge. It's a Core 2 Quad Q9400 with 4 gigs of RAM and no power supply. Now this is the one that I was going to concentrate on today. This is an i3 first gen. It's got 6 gigs of RAM and it's a nice, cute, small little PC. But uh, we're not going to concentrate on this today because this is the start of the show today. Now this was in the free ads. It was classed as faulty for £25. I offered £15 and that was accepted immediately, at which point I wish I'd offered £10, but that's the way it goes. To be perfectly honest though, the case is probably worth £15 on its own, so I was happy to uh, go with it and see what I could get from it. So uh, yeah, let's have a look inside the PC. So as you can see, we've got a rather chunky power supply here. It's a 750 watt power supply. I don't think I'd push this one beyond 400 watts because it, uh, it is rather generic, but it does have a six and an eight pen VGA connector. Now this does come with four gigs of RAM and at the time of cleaning, I noticed that the RAM wasn't seated properly. And this was probably the reason why the seller was selling this because the seller did state that it wasn't booting up, it wasn't even going into BIOS. So um, as I said, it was a bit of a risk, but at this moment in time, once I realized it wasn't seated properly, I was pretty confident that that was the problem. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna work, we'll see. So as you can see, it is working. It was just that RAM module not seated properly and Windows is now installing. So now that the PC is up and running, I decided to spend an extra £10 on memory at CEX. So we've got an extra four gigs of RAM. And then at AliExpress, I took a risk and ordered this GTX 750 Ti for £43.09. So hopefully this will combine into a really good uh, mini budget gaming PC. So on to benchmarks. Now everything is running at 1080p and I'm using medium texture settings and I have reduced one or two of the other settings to improve performance. So we're going to start off with Dirt Rally in career mode. Now it's a race against the clock and uh, the frame rate averaged at 94 frames per second with a maximum frame rate of 132. And this, this is what really surprised me, minimum frame rate of 63 frames per second. So that's a really good solid result. So I'm really happy with that. So the next game up is Grand Theft Auto 5. Now I noticed that the frame rate was at its worst while I was driving around. So that's where I benchmarked the game. So we have a minimum of 39 frames per second, an average of 54 frames per second, and a maximum of 84. So the game is very, very playable at those settings, 1080p medium texture settings. Dying Light is a game that I haven't played for quite some time, and it's one of those games when it first came out, I was wowed by how good it looked. So I thought this may be the game to break my budget gaming uh, system. So I thought I'd give it a go and benchmark it, and I was actually quite surprised by the results because it averaged out at 68 frames per second which is really rather good. So the minimums were 37, so there wasn't really any stuttering uh, that I could actually feel while I was playing the game, and it maxed out around 100 frames per second, so really rather impressive. Ah, Tomb Raider. Well, I remember playing Tomb Raider on the Sega Saturn before it came out on the PlayStation. That was a long time ago. Anyway, here's Rise of the Tomb Raider. This ran pretty well. Um, it did suffer a little bit. It did drop below 30 frames per second on the minimums. Uh, we got 27 there. Maximum was 71 and it averaged out at 49 frames per second. It was still incredibly playable, very enjoyable and uh, yeah, still looks really, really good. So another good result. So considering how filthy this machine was when I first got it, I'm very very happy with the results it was just such a simple fix just reseating the memory module 
and for a total of £68 I think I've got a bargain of a gaming PC here so what to do with it now well I don't know we'll figure something out but anyway if you've got any suggestions or anything you'd like to say just pop it into the comments and uh, thanks for watching